Ergodic Theory, Wikipedia Audio Ergodic theory is a branch of mathematics that studies dynamical systems with an invariant measure and related problems. Its initial development was motivated by problems of statistical physics. A central concern of ergodic theory is the behavior of a dynamical system when it is allowed to run for a long time. The first result in this direction is the Poincaré recurrence theorem, which claims that almost all points in any subset of the phase space eventually revisit the set. More precise information is provided by various ergodic theorems which assert that, under certain conditions, the time average of a function along the trajectories exists almost everywhere and is related to the space average. Two of the most important theorems are those of Birkhoff and von Neumann which assert the existence of a time average along each trajectory. For the special class of ergodic systems, this time average is the same for almost all initial points, statistically speaking, the system that evolves for a long time forgets its initial state. Stronger properties, such as mixing and equidistribution, have also been extensively studied. The problem of metric classification of systems is another important part of the abstract ergodic theory. An outstanding role in ergodic theory and its applications to stochastic processes is played by the various notions of entropy for dynamical systems. Ergodic Transformations The concepts of ergodicity and the ergodic hypothesis are central to applications of ergodic theory. The underlying idea is that for certain systems the time average of their properties is equal to the average over the entire space. Applications of ergodic theory to other parts of mathematics usually involve establishing ergodicity properties for systems of special kind. In geometry, methods of ergodic theory have been used to study the geodesic flow on Riemannian manifolds starting with the results of Eberhard Hopf for Riemann surfaces of negative curvature. Markov chains form a common context for applications in probability theory. Ergodic theory has fruitful connections with harmonic analysis, lie theory, and number theory. Ergodic theory is often concerned with ergodic transformations. The intuition behind such transformations which act on a given set, is that they do a thorough job stirring the elements of that set here is the formal definition. Let T, XX be a measure preserving transformation on a measure space, with mu equals 1. Then T is ergodic if for every E in sigma with T1 equals E, either mu equals 0 or mu equals 1. Let T, XX be a measure preserving transformation on a measure space and supposes a mu integrable function, i.e., L1. Then we define the following averages. Time average this is defined as the average over iterations of t starting from some initial point x. Space average if mu is finite and non zero, we can consider the space or phase average of. In general the time average and space average may be different. But if the transformation is ergodic, and the measure is invariant, then the time average is equal to the space average almost everywhere. This is the celebrated ergodic theorem, in an abstract form due to George David Birkhoff. The equidistribution theorem is a special case of the ergodic theorem dealing specifically with the distribution of probabilities on the unit interval. More precisely, the pointwise or strong ergodic theorem states that the limit in the definition of the time average of exists for almost every x and that the limit function is integrable. Furthermore, is t invariant, that is to say. Examples Holds almost everywhere and if mu is finite, then the normalization is the same. In particular, if t is ergodic, then must be a constant, 
and so one has that. Almost everywhere. Joining the first to the last claim and assuming that mu is finite and non-zero, one has that. For almost all x, i.e., for all x except for a set of measure zero. For an ergodic transformation, the time average equals the space average almost surely. As an example, assume that the measure space models the particles of a gas as above, and let denote the velocity of the particle at position x. Then the pointwise ergodic theorem says that the average velocity of all particles at some given time is equal to the average velocity of one particle over time. A generalization of Birkhoff's theorem is Kingman's subadditive ergodic theorem. Ergodic theorems Probabilistic formulation, birkhoff kinchin theorem birkhoff kinchin theorem Let B measurable, E, and T be a measure-preserving map. Then with probability 1. Mean ergodic theorem Convergence of the ergodic means in the LP norms. Sojourn time. Ergodic flows on manifolds. Where, E, F, C, is the conditional expectation given the sigma algebra, C, of invariant sets of T. Corollary, in particular, if T is also ergodic, then, C, is the trivial sigma algebra, and thus with probability 1. Von Neumann's mean ergodic theorem, holds in Hilbert spaces. Let U be a unitary operator on a Hilbert space H, more generally, an isometric linear operator. Let P be the orthogonal projection onto equals Kerr. Then, for any X in H, we have where the limit is with respect to the norm on H. In other words, the sequence of averages converges to P in the strong operator topology. Indeed, it is not difficult to see that in this case any X, H, admits an orthogonal decomposition into parts from Kerr, I, U, and Ran, I, U, respectively. The former part is invariant in all the partial sums as n, gross, while for the latter part, from the telescoping series one would have. This theorem specializes to the case in which the Hilbert space H consists of L2 functions on a measure space and U is an operator of the form. Where T is a measure-preserving endomorphism of X, thought of in applications as representing a time step of a discrete dynamical system. The ergodic theorem then asserts that the average behavior of a function over sufficiently large time scales is approximated by the orthogonal component of which is time invariant. Historical references In another form of the mean ergodic theorem, let UT be a strongly continuous one-parameter group of unitary operators on H. Then the operator converges in the strong operator topology as T. In fact, this result also extends to the case of strongly continuous one-parameter semigroup of contractive operators on a reflexive space. Modern References Remark some intuition for the mean ergodic theorem can be developed by considering the case where complex numbers of unit length are regarded as unitary transformations on the complex plane. If we pick a single complex number of unit length, it is intuitive that its powers will fill up the circle. Since the circle is symmetric around zero, it makes sense that the averages of the powers of U will converge to zero. Also, Zero is the only fixed point of U, and so the projection onto the space of fixed points must be the zero operator. Let B as above a probability space with a measure-preserving transformation T, 
and let 1 less than or equal to P less than or equal to the conditional expectation with respect to the subsigma algebra sigma t of the t invariant sets is a linear projector et of norm 1 of the Banach space lp onto its closed subspace lp the latter may also be characterized as the space of all t invariant lp functions on x the ergodic means as linear operators on lp also have unit operator norm and as a simple consequence of the birkhoff kinchin theorem, converge to the projector ET in the strong operator topology of LP if 1 less than or equal to P less than or equal to, and in the weak operator topology if P equals. More is true if 1 P less than or equal to than the wiener yashida kakutani ergodic dominated convergence theorem states that the ergodic means of LP are dominated in LP, However, if L1, the ergodic means may fail to be equidominated in LP. Finally, if is assumed to be in the Zygmunt class, that is log and is integrable, then the ergodic means are even dominated in L1. Let be a measure space such that mu is finite and non-zero. The time spent in a measurable set A is called the sojourn time. An immediate consequence of the ergodic theorem is that, in an ergodic system, the relative measure of A is equal to the mean sojourn time. For all x except for a set of measure 0, where chi A is the indicator function of A. The occurrence times of a measurable set A is defined as the set K1, K2, K3, of times K such that Tk is in A sorted in increasing order. The differences between consecutive occurrence times R i equals K i K i 1 are called the recurrence times of A. Another consequence of the ergodic theorem is that the average recurrence time of A is inversely proportional to the measure of A, assuming that the initial point X is in A, so that K 0 equals 0. That is, the smaller A is, the longer it takes to return to it. The ergodicity of the geodesic flow on compact Riemann surfaces of variable negative curvature and on compact manifolds of constant negative curvature of any dimension was proved by Eberhard Hopf in 1939, although special cases had been studied earlier, see for example, Haydamard's Billiards and Ardeen Billiard. The relation between geodesic flows on Riemann surfaces and one-parameter subgroups on SL was described in 1952 by S. V. Fomin and I. M. Gelfand. The article on Anosov flows provides an example of ergodic flows on SL and on Riemann surfaces of negative curvature. Much of the development described there generalizes to hyperbolic manifolds since they can be viewed as quotients of the hyperbolic space by the action of a lattice in the semi-simple Lie group so. Ergodicity of the geodesic flow on Riemannian symmetric spaces was demonstrated by F. I. Mautner in 1957. In 1967 D. V. Anosov and Yeh. G. Sinai proved ergodicity of the geodesic flow on compact manifolds of variable negative sectional curvature. A simple criterion for the ergodicity of a homogeneous flow on a homogeneous space of a semi-simple Lie group was given by Calvin C. Moore in 1966. Many of the theorems and results from this area of study are typical of rigidity theory. In the 1930s G. A. Hedlund proved that the Horo cycle flow on a compact hyperbolic surface is minimal and ergodic. Unique ergodicity of the flow was established by Hillel Furstenberg in 1972. Ratner's theorems provide a major generalization of ergodicity for unipotent flows on the homogeneous spaces of the form γ backslash G, where G is a Lie group and γ is a lattice in G. In the last 20 years, there have been many works trying to find a measure classification theorem similar to Ratner's theorems but for diagonalizable actions, 
motivated by conjectures of Forstenberg and Margulis. An important partial result was proved by Elon Linden Strauss, and he was awarded the Fields Medal in 2010 for this result.